How to make charcoal for cooking when the gas is gone. The forests are ash, and dinner still needs fire. The cities are dead quiet except for the wind rattling through skeleton buildings. Propane tanks? Long gone. The last lighter you saw was in someone else's pocket, and that someone else had teeth like knives. You're cold, you're hungry, and you've got a pile of wood that burns too fast. Solution. Slow burn it into charcoal. Start by grabbing wood, dry, if you're lucky. Doesn't matter if it's an old chair, a fence post, or someone's former, live laugh love, sign. Jam it into a metal barrel or a dented tin drum. Light a small fire underneath or around it, but don't let the wood inside touch the flames directly, you want it to roast, not vanish. Cover it up so air barely gets in. You're cooking the wood without letting it breathe. Here's the trick. The heat drives out water and gases, leaving behind pure carbon, the good, hot-burning kind. When the smoke thins and it smells like a campfire had a funeral, it's done. Now you've got charcoal. Burns hotter, lasts longer, keeps you alive longer. Congratulations. You just made fire out of dead trees. Again.